Hello everyone, welcome back to Astronomy Into the Stars. In this video, we're going to go over the names of the full moon that occur in each calendar month. The amount of time for the moon to go from new moon to full moon and back again takes about 29.5 days. And since each month of the calendar year has at least 30 to 31 days, there's always one full moon each month. Since each month has at least one full moon, there's a name given to each one of these full moons. There are so many other types of moons out there other than the ones I'm going to describe in this video, such as the Blue Moon, Blood Moon, Harvest Moon. If you want to know more about the moons or different names of them, hit the subscribe button. It helps me out so much. I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers so I can continue to make videos like this for you. The full moon in January is known as the Wolf Moon. The idea is that there would be, wouldn't be a lot of food laying around, so the wolves will be howling at the moon as they're looking for food. The full moon in February is known as the snow moon because in North America it would start to snow typically in February or there would be a lot of snow on the ground. The full moon in March is known as the worm moon because the worms would leave a trail in the thawed ground. The full moon in April is known as the pink moon because of early wildflowers that would bloom in April. And the full moon in May is very similar to the full moon in April and that the one in May is called the flower moon because of all the flowers that are blooming in the month of May. The full moon in June is known as the strawberry moon because in June would be the month of harvest for strawberries. The full moon in July is known as the buck moon because this is when the male deers start to grow their antlers. The full moon in August is known as the sturgeon moon because in August there would be an abundance of this species of fish. September is known as the full corn moon because this is the time of year in which corn would be harvested. Having the full moon at this time of year allowed farmers to finish their harvest late into the evening. That's why this moon is also known as the harvest moon. The October full moon is known as the hunter's moon because this is the time uh, in which hunters would go out and hunt animals that have gained a lot of weight over the summer months. The full moon would allow them to hunt later into the evening. The full moon in November is known as the beaver moon due to the activity of the beavers. And the final month, December, its full moon is known as the cold moon because of the cold long nights that December would bring. Thank you everyone, I'm going to post more videos about the different types of moons. Please hit the like and subscribe button to get notified of those videos. Until then, clear skies.